the Board of County Commissioners of Ross County of Ohio is about to come to order on this, the 20th day of August, 1998, the 200th anniversary of the founding of Ross County, with the Honorable Commissioners James M. Caldwell, Donald W. Arledge, and Frank Hirsch presiding. Look you now, and hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Ladies and gentlemen, American Legion Post 62, present the colors.
and for your faithfulness through the history of mankind and specifically the history of Ross County. Our lives today are richer because of the energetic spirits and minds of our ancestors. This celebration is the occasion to remember thoughtfully our history and to use the good lessons for good ends. O oh God, continue to bless us with grateful hearts, creative minds, generous spirits, that we may honor our past and honor your faithfulness today and forevermore. Amen. Our prosecuting attorney, Scott Nussbaum. 
County Engineer Don Carnes, right behind the pillar. He's right back. They are here. Kathy Dunn, reporter. Our Sheriff Ron Nichols. We just radioed the flyover twice in a row there, right? I'll get, try and drown Jim out, I think. County Treasurer, Felix Bellarogno. Coroner, Dr. John Davis. And our, we've got some judges here. Judge uh, William Porzine. Yeah, I believe Judge Holmes couldn't make it, so. We do have uh, Judge Tom Bunch here from the U.S. Bull Court. Did I miss anybody? That's our local team. That's our local team. Now I'd like to introduce, uh, just have the counties, I'm going to introduce by county, like, uh, all the officials, elected officials from these counties, please stand as I introduce your county. Just to stand up and, and remain standing until we get all the counties so we can see how many representatives we've got here from, from the other counties throughout the state. First, Adams County, anybody from Adams County, whether you're a commissioner, treasurer, whatever. Fairfield County, Fayette County, Franklin County, Hamilton County, you got Highland County, Hawking County, you got Jackson County, Million neighbors, Pickway County. Cider County, Denton County, and Washington County. I might thank you. Let's give them a round of applause. We thank you all for coming to help us celebrate. Uh, we appreciate it. And uh, each one of these counties, I think, as Jim said, were, were carved out of Ross County, or Ross County was carved out of them, one or the other, back in the 200 years ago. Now I'd uh, like to introduce our. Uh, Visiting officials, uh, I think uh, State Representative Joe Salzer is here. Joe, some of these people have proclamations or resolutions, and I'm not going to let them read them. They can just present them if they have a resolution. Okay, well, we're going to shorten this up real good. So anybody that has a resolution, please come up, just present it. <coughs> Thank you, Frank. That's enough. That's the. Uh, <laughs> I can't let this go by. That's the first time I've seen Frank without a Farm Bureau hat on. Thank you. I want to present to you on behalf of the Ohio House of Representatives, you and the County Commissioners and all of Ross County, a resolution from the Ohio House recognizing Ross County on its bicentennial. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you very much. I forgot to say, as I introduced Washington County, we did have a resolution here from Washington County. Uh, I guess we were carved out of Washington County originally. They were one of the two counties, Hamilton, Washington, the bottom half of the state, and Ross was carved out of the middle of them. Uh, next, we have our uh, state senator, Mike Schmitter. No proclamation, no speech. Very good. We'll give you a couple of rounds of applause. Back on. Uh, representative from U.S. Uh, representative Ted Strickland. I got Francis here, the better half. Wish you much joy as you celebrate this 200th anniversary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there a representative of Dave Hobson here by chance? There we go. Thank you for having us. Thank Dave for us. Uh, U.S. Senators, I don't think we've got anybody here from the U.S. Senate. Better ask, just in case. Uh, District Court of Appeals, we have Judge William Harsh out here. Thank you, Bill, for coming. He just moved his offices down here from Pickaway County, probably catching a little static from Pickaway County, but we appreciate that. <laughs> we got the district offices over here down in downtown Chillicothe. Uh, from Lieutenant Governor Nancy Hollister, TJ Justice, he's got a proclamation. I was asked to recognize two people, uh, Edna Reed, if she's here, is she here? Yeah, yeah. And Councilwoman Cindy Henderson, if she's in the audience. Uh, the governor asked me to recognize them. They're both serving on the state's Bicentennial Commission. As most of you know, uh, the state of Ohio's Bicentennial Commission is in the year 2003. And 
and we've assembled a committee with a lot of representation. We think Chillicothe will be a big part of that, so I did want to recognize them today. Congratulations and thanks for having us. Thank you, TJ. Uh, I might just say one of these is from the governor, one from Nancy. Right? Thank you. Thank them for us. Uh, Representative Sue Ann Painter from uh, Jim Petro's office, uh, State Auditor. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. State Auditor Jim Petro sends his best wishes. He's recovering from successful surgery last week. Sorry he could not be here, but sends his congratulations and his certificate. <laughs> Thank you very much. That just reminds me, I didn't explain why Bob Harkin wasn't here, but he did have open heart surgery, I guess, just last week, so he's recovering also. Um, a letter from uh, Betty Montgomery, I think I have a letter of rest recognition from Betty Montgomery, Attorney General, a mayor, Margaret Plant. Forgot to introduce mayor. through the city's bicentennial to work with the commissioner since we, we all share this special historic ground together. So it's a pleasure today to congratulate the commissioners on 200 years of governing uh, this historic territory. And some of you may know that Jim Caldwell and I are co-chairing the local effort to be prepared for 2003. So we're, we're right here sharing this special ground, uh, trying to make uh, all these events very special for our community and grow the understanding of our history as we move forward for the next 200 years. So congratulations and uh, another proclamation. Thank you very much, <laughs> Mayor. Thank you. She's just recovering from her 200 two years ago, right? Then we get this one 200, and then we go 200 in 2003. We ought to be having really down pat by then. Uh, I might uh, like to introduce Larry Long. Larry's out here. He's the executive director of the County Commissioner Association of Ohio. And last but not least, uh, Steve George, executive director of the Ohio Madison County Commission. Steve George. On behalf of the Ohio Bicentennial Commission, happy birthday, Ross County. Thank you, Steve. That just about does all the introductions, and that's about all you can probably stand, right? I would like to say thank you to Edna Reed. I know she was just introduced. Edna, step forward in the middle up here so everybody can see you. This lady's done a dynamic job of organizing this thing and is still a long way to go, but she's done a super job. Thank you very much. While I got the podium, I know they're not going to let me back up here again, so while I've got the podium, I'd like just for, for Don Arlis to stand up a minute. I'd like to congratulate him on 20 years of service to this county as county commissioner. That's one-tenth of our, as long as we've been in existence, right? You've been 20 years. <laughs> and look how fair he looks like in that department, right? Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. I would uh, echo Frank's comments. We appreciate the service that Don has given the county over these many years, and he's decided to retire this year, and he, he enjoys his retirement. As we were planning for this uh, bicentennial celebration, the bicentennial committee and the elected officials felt that it was important to recognize those who had gone before them in serving in public office in Ross County. We would like to present certificates of appreciation to them for their service to the citizens of Ross County. Presenting certificates to former county commissioners will be Commissioner Don Arledge, Commissioner Frank Hirsch, assisted by uh, Executive Director of the County Commissioners Association, Larry Long. Uh, the first presentation is John Meeker here. John was unable to attend. Alfred Emmel. Alfred, yes. Alfred Emmel served as County Commissioner from 1965 to 1969. Gilbert Stoltz served as county commissioner from 1969 to 1977. Robert Rittinger 
served as county commissioner from 1975 to 1979. James Starr, who served as county commissioner from 1979 to 1983. And Robert Barada, served as county commissioner from 1981 to 1989, and I don't believe Bob was able to make it today. At this time, County Auditor Steve Neal will present a certificate of appreciation to David Ringer, who served as uh, county auditor from 1983 to 1985. Sheriff Ron Nichols will present certificates to Sheriff Fred Heinzelman, who served from 1956 to 1977. And to former Sheriff Tom Hammond, who served as Sheriff of Ross County from 1997 to 1993. Dunn, Ross County Recorder, will present a certificate of appreciation to former recorder Wayne Kreider, who served as Ross County Recorder from 1968 to 1997. Common Pleas Judge Jan Corzine will present a certificate of appreciation to former Common Pleas Judge, Probate Division Judge Gerald Radcliffe, who served the courts of Ross County from 1973 to 1996. present a certificate of appreciation to former engineer Paul Miller, who served as Ross County engineer from 1974 to 1983. <laughs> County Treasurer Felix Melarogno will present a certificate to former treasurer Francis Ellison, who served at two different times. 1975 and again in 1989. Chief Deputy Clerk Alice Oates, who was representing Bob Harkins, and Bob uh, was very instrumental in planning this whole event, and he is recovering uh, from open heart surgery. I know he would love to be here, but presenting certificates to served as clerk of the Ross County Clerk of Courts from 1973 to 1986, and to Joyce Neff, who served as County Clerk of Courts from 1987 to 1991. Prosecutor Scott Nussbaum will make presentations to former prosecuting attorneys David Cutright, who served as prosecuting attorney of Ross County from 1969 to 1977, and to Richard G. Ward, who served as prosecuting attorney from 1977 to 1995. Dr. John Gavis will present certificates of appreciation to former coroners. I believe Dr. Joe McKell is unable to make it today, but Dr. Donald Burling, who served as county coroner of Ross County from 1969 to A lot of experience and dedication represented by all of you, and we certainly appreciate all the efforts you've made on behalf of, of Ross County. We, of course, were saddened very recently by the death of
probate juvenile judge Jack Kellenberger, and as we celebrate today, we remember his family and his staff in our prayers. Uh, we now ask that all the former county officials join with the current elected officials in unveiling a commemorative plaque that has been prepared for this occasion down in front here. So we would ask that you all come forward and join us in unveiling that plaque.
the Shawnee name for dwelling place, was established. Perhaps you recall Henry Howe's characterization of this place in 1846, and I quote, the plan and situation of Chillicothe have been described as nearly resembling that of Philadelphia. The Scioto River and Paint Creek representing in this case the Delaware and Schuylkill Rivers, and both towns being level and regularly laid out in squares. But here the comparison terminates. The scenery around Philadelphia is dissimilar and far inferior." End of quote. By interesting coincidence, I spent a few days in southeastern Pennsylvania just last week. What Howe saw to be the case 150 or so years ago is even more graphically apparent today. And I congratulate you on that. The creation or designation of Ross County in 1798 and the subsequent relocation of the seat of government of the Northwest Territory to Chillicothe from Cincinnati in 1800 foreordained that the citizens of this community and this county would be key players in the energetic and at times highly contentious debate over pursuit of statehood for Ohio, which of course was successfully culminated in 1803. The prominence and significance of this area endured across the many decades, despite the shift of the state's capital to Columbus. Indeed, it is the richness of the history of this place and the interest in and preservation of that history across generations that have prompted all Ohioans to look, especially to Ross County, as they seek to revisit our beginnings as the 17th state of the Union and the first to be delineated from the Northwest Territory. Thus, one of our foremost purposes here today is to reflect on the accomplishments of those who came to this place and began to give it shape and configuration and direction that has enriched Ross Countyans across 200 years. Another purpose is to move beyond mere celebration of a relatively simple act, that being Governor St. Clair's proclamation, to a fuller appreciation of what unfolded thereafter. And in my opinion, no development was more significant than the birth of Ohio and its subsequent nurturing by all of your predecessors. You may know that I'm privileged to serve as secretary to Ohio's Bicentennial Commission, where I have the pleasure to work with three of your neighbors who are commissioners. And they include Senator Shoemaker, Edna Reed, and Cindy Henderson. And I also work with nearly 50 other Ohioans who, is, who are also commissioners, but who happen to reside outside Ross County. What you may not know is that my position on the Bicentennial Commission is due to the special privilege of having another post, that of Director of the Ohio Historical Society. These linkages, from the founding of Chillicothe and then Ross County to the birth of Ohio statehood right here, to subsequent efforts across the years to commemorate these developments, to the creation of what has become the Ohio Historical Society, and our organization's charge to preserve and promote our state's history and our special association with these commemorations help explain, I very much hope, why I was so honored to receive your invitation and how pleased I am to be with you. It is interesting to recall that nearly 100 years ago, no organized effort to mark the centennial of Ohio statehood emerged within state government. Rather, it was an initially small group of Chalcothians who seized the moment. The group included civic leaders and Ross County residents who had become especially active in the relatively youthful Ohio Archaeological and Historical Society, our ancestor organization. State officials were impressed, some might say overwhelmed, by the energy and organization of the local leaders, and they gave official status and recognition to a commemoration that was focused here in 1903. In the middle of the 20th century, fueled in part perhaps by the patriotism flowing out of World War II and reinforced by the onset of the Cold War, planning for the sesquicentennial of statehood seemed relatively purposeful. Again, and appropriately, attention turned to Ross County and to the preservation of arguably the most significant enduring legacy of the early statehood period, Thomas Worthington's Adena. The state of Ohio acquired the property and immediately placed it in the hands of the society for restoration and public appreciation. We at the Ohio Historical Society 
have regarded our stewardship of Adina as a special opportunity and a sobering obligation. The site's inspirational qualities are well known, especially, I hope, to you who live closest to it. The restoration and opening of Adina to the public in 1953 was one of the more symbolic and memorable events of Ohio's sesquicentennial. Since then, the site has been enjoyed by hundreds of thousands, probably millions, of visitors. The public's response to Adina's significance and attractiveness has resulted, understandably, in appreciable wear and tear. Thus, I am especially pleased to reiterate that Adina has been made a particularly high priority by the Society for needed capital improvements that, once completed, will not only restore much of the luster of the decor and the stability of the structures, but also increase further our knowledge of Worthington, his times, and this property's historic and architectural importance to all Ohioans, and indeed to all Americans. An invaluable boost to the Society's efforts to gain recognition of the needs and potential of Adena was extended by the Ohio Bicentennial Commission recently, which endorsed this endeavor at Adena as one which ought to be undertaken and completed no later than 2003. The State of Ohio has also challenged the Society to confirm that improvements for Adena are not only welcome by many of you, but also that a collaborative public-private base of support can be identified that will assure the project's successful completion and future use and appreciation. On behalf of the Ohio Historical Society, I welcome this dialogue and invite your thoughts. This day is exceedingly pleasant, but I also know for those of you sitting in it that the sun is warm. You are sitting, it is true, but I got to stand and stretch my legs and lean on the podium. Therefore, please accept my very best wishes on this occasion, accept my sincere thanks for your hospitality, and know how very much I look forward to being with you even more frequently in the next few years. They are indeed going to be significant and exciting. Congratulations. Frank Hurst asked me to uh, be sure and introduce uh, Franklin County Commissioner Dorothy Teeters, which has a proclamation. Dorothy. I think it's been so obvious here today that we all take great pride in our history and in our community. We should all feel very privileged to be part of this history-making event. In closing the program, we would like to express our thanks to everyone who helped make this event a success. We want to thank the Ross County Convention and the Visitors Bureau for all of its help and give special thanks to the Bureau's Executive Director, Director Teresa Carver, who served as our Bicentennial Chairperson, and to Edna Reed, who acted as our Bicentennial, bicentennial Coordinator, for their hard work put, putting such a fine program of activities for all of you to enjoy during this celebration. Teresa and Edna, would you uh, stand, please? They've been tremendous, let me tell you. We would also like to thank the members of the Bicentennial Committee for all their hard work and planning efforts. Would all the committee members please raise your hands so we can recognize you. Also, we would like to say thanks to the managers of the two Kroger Company stores, Mike Ash and Jack Smith. If they're with us today, would you please come up and be recognized? It seems these men always come through to do whatever they can to help the community. 
and they were kind enough to help with the celebration, with the individual celebrations in the local villages. They feel they, I feel they deserve a special thanks. Company, we'd like to thank Ross County and as well as Chillicothe. It's been a pleasure to be involved in the Chillicothe Bicentennial. Now back for the Ross County Bicentennial celebration. But if I could uh, ask the county commissioners to step forward at this time for a small presentation for uh, all the important work and everything that you gentlemen do for the county. We certainly appreciate you and what a fine county that we have to live in. Thank you. We would be remiss if we didn't also honor the Madam Mayor at this time, so Madam Mayor, if you would step forward, we also have a small token for you as well. Before we adjourn, we would like to remind you of the additional events taking place the rest of today and over the weekend. On each day, there will be tours of the courthouse, law enforcement center, our local museums, Adena, Oakville, Cultural National Park, and other historical sites and points of interest. Also, the outdoor drama, Tecumseh, will hold nightly appearances. Tomorrow, don't forget the WKKJ picnic in the park and the performance of Bill Dirt and the Dozers at the courthouse in the evening. All tours will continue on Saturday and Sunday with a special tour of the Old Ohio Erie Canal on Saturday. Thanks, Martha. Uh, also, don't forget the upcoming celebration on the county's 200th birthday, which will be held in some of our villages and communities later this month and during September and October. We also want to let you know that we have selected certain items that are represented this occasion which will be placed in a time capsule and buried later this year. The capsule will be opened in 50 years at the next county celebration in 2048, and you're all invited. Finally, we would like to thank WKKJ for providing the sound system for this event and give a special thanks to our county employees who are back there uh, who have put forth a team effort toward this celebration. We also thank everyone for attending and being a part of this history-making event. Our board president, Jim Caldwell, will now call an adjournment to this meeting, and we hope all of you will join us immediately following this reception at the Law Enforcement Center. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Before I do that, uh, Teresa Carper from the Russ County Visitors Convention Bureau uh, wishes to make a presentation. Ross County. Standing with me today is local artist Ted Pekias, and I'm sure that many of you have had the opportunity to see his beautiful work. You know that he often uh, depicts those places that remind us of our history, our heritage, and our culture. During our celebration today, we would be remiss if we did not do those same things that we've done before, such as present something for a lasting memory of this occasion. We're very, very fortunate that Mr. Pekaisen has created a beautiful pen and ink limited edition print, which we will unveil here today. However, I'd like to bring forth uh, or ask that uh, Dr. Ness step forward along with the Ross County Commissioners. If you would please. Today we are presenting uh, print number one to Dr. Ness to thank you for being here today and also to remind you of your trip to Ross County. Thank you, sir. Okay, go ahead and open it so you can see. Yes, Ted has told me this is his very first public unveiling of his work. So there we go, we've got a moment in history here. Now print number two will be going to the Ross County Commissioners so that they may put it in the Ross County Courthouse for all of you to enjoy. Finally, finally I'd like you to know that if you would like to purchase one of these prints, they will be uh, on sale this Saturday at the cellar room. Um, Mr. Pekaisa so will, will be available uh, for remarks and signing from 11 to 3. Ross County Bicentennial uh, Committee, we thank 
all of you for being here and appreciate the Ross County Commissioners for the help. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa, and thank you, Ted. Uh, Ted has done so many uh, artistic pieces depicting the history of this community in this area, and we certainly appreciate this effort. At this time, I would like to call on Reverend, Reverend David L. Tannehill, First Baptist Church, to give the benediction. My name is Steve Rack, and uh, Pastor Terry couldn't, couldn't be here today, so uh, he asked me about 15 minutes ago to come, if I could come represent him, so here I am. But everybody please bow their heads, please. Most gracious and kind, loving Heavenly Father, Lord, as once again I call upon your name. Heavenly Father, I come right now with thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, we thank you just for this day. Heavenly Father, as we look back and think of 200 years, Heavenly Father, we know that you have been good to us, good to this community. We thank you for that. Heavenly Father, after that you will be with the hand of this community, and your Heavenly Father is continuing to bless the Lord and fill them with wisdom that they might lead this community from the way that you would have to go. Heavenly Father, again, we thank you for all you've done, and therefore give you all honor and glory and praise. In Jesus' name I pray.